Hey everybody, how the heck are ya? I'm Fastidious and welcome back to my channel. It's day 37 in the Free to Play series and Raid Shadow Legends is kind of in a lull right now. You know, the Yoshi Fusion officially just ended. We're still two weeks out from the Brogni Fusion, so now we kind of get a break. You know, we get a respite. We can all take a breath and just chill out, relax, and just return to the norm. And normalcy is kind of the theme of today's video. So what have we been up to? You know, we have a champion training tournament that just started. We're very passively participating in that. And then, you know, just a little work here and there on our normal teams. A little work in clan boss, a little, little work in arena, and that's kind of it. We're just chilling out. We're relaxing today. So all that being said, let's hop on in. Fastidious. Fastidious. Here we go, guys. Day 37. Let's get to it. But quickly, while we're in the daily login rewards, I just want to, I guess, complain briefly. Um, I was a little disappointed when I started this day, this raid day. If we look here, um, the daily login rewards are divided into these weird little kind of like six day week things. And very, very often, especially early on in your account, you'll start that off with like a nice lump sum of energy. That will be your daily login reward to start the week. We got 500 here, 500, 500, 500, day 31, 43, 49, 55. Apparently day 37 is the one day where they're like, you don't need the energy. I know there's a champion training event ending and a champion training tournament going on. Just take the one day XP boost. Nah, I guess I am complaining. I was gonna say I'm not complaining, I am. But uh, I guess we just have to wait another week and then we'll start getting all that nice free energy. But I did mention there is a champion training event that just ended and a champion training tournament that's going on right now. The champion training event that just ended for 14,250 points, you could get the final reward. It was still a Yoshi event, but if you kept going and going, you could get that legendary book. Put it on screen right now. We pushed for it, we got it. You know I'm booking out Yoshi and you know it's been a struggle. And uh, we'd be kidding ourselves if we thought it'd be anything anything else but some more bad luck. So uh, we've had bad luck on the A3, that's the attack up, the true fear, and the accuracy up. Um, so of course it missed there again. We still only have the one loan book there. We got in the A2. The A1's booked out at this point. Um, two more books to go in the A2. I can only assume the next two books will go there. And we're going to have to fully, fully, fully book this guy for what? The grand total of four, uh, six. Yeah, the grand total of 14 books. So not the hardest legendary book out in the game, but certainly, certainly not the easiest. And uh, yeah, RNG has not been particularly kind to us. But on top of the champion training event that just ended and uh, I won the legendary book from, maybe some of you did too, let me know in the comments. There's also a champion training tournament going on right now. Let's click into it. We'll see if it ever loads, guys. All right, we're back. I actually had to cut there because that took so long to load, um, but we'll see. Screenshot a clock. Um, have we been participating in this aggressively? The answer is gonna be a big fat no. We're at 256 points. Um, I probably, I, I guess in the screenshot you won't even see that because I always take the screenshot at the top. So just take my word, we only have 256 points. Not like it's a flex or anything. That puts us comfortably in 20th place. However, we are going to make a small push in this. I mean, I'd love to at least get the Ancient Shard. We have now three and a half days. We've had a total of four days to do this. Uh, the thing is though, I haven't been using any extra energy. Uh, has not been a priority. Um, and yeah, these tournaments, they're nice because champ training is kind of what I want to be doing. Uh, top priority right now is getting Yoshi to six stars, which we're nearly there. I'll show you right now. Um, and then after that, just three star chickens for days. Um, you're going to see my Brogni guide coming out tomorrow that we need all the three star chickens in the world basically to be fully, fully prepared for ranking up all those uh, fusion rares and fusion epics that we're going to use in the classic style fusion that Brogni's event is going to be. But I said we're working on chickens. Look at this. We're doing okay. We got three five star chickens ready to go. We have a, this is a four star chicken that's at level 33, gonna go to 40, become a five star chicken. And here's another one, level 30, gonna go to 40, become a five star chicken. And then we're slowly getting our three, three star food ready. Um, we've got pieces. We actually have a decent amount of three star food. I think this is nearly sufficient. So we just have to make a few more, get these guys up to 30, and then two others, I think it would be, or three others, and then we'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, nothing too thrilling really going on today. I mean, my energy, I guess where I've actively been kind of playing around and participating in this game is Arena, and you're gonna see that in about two seconds. Uh, but yeah, this champion training event, or champion training tournament, excuse me, it's kind of cool, it's kind of weird. We just finished like a really meaty one, 14,250 points in four days was that last Yoshi one that we got the legendary book from. Um, and now I think it was like two hours after that ended, a champ training tournament started but I mean, it lines up well with our goals. Unlike the Dragon Tournament, Dragon's where I want to be spending my time and energy, but just that's not what we're doing right now. You know, we're trying to build up our teams. How do we build up our teams? Well, Artifacts is a great way, but for where we're at right now, we kind of have to level up some of these characters, namely Yoshi, 
Banshee, and maybe even Coffin Smash it. But it's probably going to be Yoshi, and then I'm not going to rank up any more 6-star champions until Brogny starts coming along. Until then, it's just going to be stockpiling, stockpiling, stockpiling chickens. So, like I said, today's chill. Not so much to talk to. How we hang out in the market for one bit? I'm glad I went into the market with you guys. Would you look at that? Not the mystery shard as much as I do love those. Ancient shard, why not? Looks like that month is is resetting. I guess it is uh, April 1st, April Fool's Day. Um, so new month, I guess we'll get those five ancient shards potentially. Um, so really quickly, missions, raid hall bonus to level four. They actually put in some work and you'll see we're doing good in arena. I'm 58, we were at two yesterday. So we're getting those medals. Um, but before I keep teasing, teasing arena, I just wanna get in there. I will just show you clan boss. I think I'm officially bored of clan boss. That's not to say clan boss is easy. Clan boss is very far from easy. But there you see, another like beast of a two key. I mean, I guess we could work towards a one key on hard, but we're just not, it just doesn't matter. Like even, we're even three keying force. I explained that yesterday. So we're two keying every affinity, three keying force being the one exception. The other three were two keying. Um, but brutal, my clan's just not there yet. Um, I'm pretty sure we can four key brutal. I've been testing it like a key here and there the past two or three days. Um, and what do we need? We need about, I think it comes out to just under five and a half million a key. Yeah, because five and a half a million a key would get us to 22 million. So just less than that, about 5.3 million a key. And we've hit that already. So we know it's possible. I mean, it's definitely not affinity proof, but with just a small investment, we can do it. The thing is, we're not going to do it because uh, we're not going to be getting double rewards. I mean, I guess we could push, but it doesn't really make sense. I want to help my clan take down the bosses we have to, which we are doing very comfortably. I'm gonna have to talk to the clan leader. Koss, if you're watching this, I'll DM you. I think we're, all, maybe not right now, but within a week's time, I think we're gonna be, as a clan, moving on to Brutal. And it's pretty cool that uh, this account, the Fastidious YT account, is growing really nicely in line with my clan. I'm in a very strong clan for the kind of players we are. You know, uh, all basically free to play or low spend. There's a couple exceptions, but you can see, like, we're, we all kind of start at the same time, and here in just over a month, we're really pushing, pushing, pushing. You know, nothing, Absolutely exceptional, but definitely good stuff. Um, so yeah, clan boss is kind of boring. I say that also to hype up the fact that arena is kind of fun again. Um, so fun, I might even, we'll see how it goes. I might even have to buy a buy a arena refill with 40 gems just to show you guys. But why do I think it's so fun? Um, can I access my champions now? I'm gonna have to do here, but I'll just show you. So this is what we're running on offense and defense. Um, why has it been so fun? Yoshi, I mean, all, I, for since I got back to the game last November, so I guess that's been December, January, it's been like almost five or six months now. Um, Marshall Ed has been buffed. He was buffed before I left the game over the summer, but he just wasn't as, I guess, omnipresent. He wasn't as ubiquitous all over the game. Now it seems like everyone, their mom and their dad has a Marshall Ed, Mash however you want to say it. And he's just kind of been ruining my experience on my main account and on this account, just with those true fears. And just, it's so fun now to have those true fears with Yoshi. Um, we have the one book, we've had bad luck, but we got one book on the A3. So it's at a 60% chance without attack up, 85% chance with attack up. And the more I use this team with Yoshi, and then I'm actually gonna really zero in on Sachi. Um, we've, it's actually been kind of fun. I'm getting better and better at picking out um, like the, the battles that are winnable with this kind of team and just how it's all gonna work. So I'll give you a, let's see, I see one example right off the bat of a potentially winnable one. I'm not gonna jump out of my socks at it, but yeah, let's just get in here and I'll show you. So what's been pretty cool is uh, when I see a team like this, there are two kinds of teams I look for. I look for, well, there, let me just say, there's a couple of teams we avoid like the plague, um, namely Seeker teams. Seeker teams are super hard because we take advantage of the fact that he does the turn meter boost, but then the AOE incre increase attack, and then Yoshi basically, yeah, over three quarters of the time will full CC um, the other team with True Fear because the attack buff increase the attack up buff for them increases our chance to land the True Fear debuff. Um, however, with Seeker, he always targets Kale, so it doesn't really help if our Nuker is locked out in that situation. So I avoid Seeker like the plague. What I do look for is Gorgrab leads with no other turn meter boosts. So I know their Gorgrab is going to be fast, going to be the one going first. So I'd say three out of four times or so. It does happen that Yoshi's faster, but usually they're faster than Yoshi, and that's what I want to happen. Yoshi cuts right in and almost always, like 85% of the time, will AoE uh, CC the other team with the true fear. So I love Gorgrab teams, and then also I'm, try I'm starting to learn to love these teams. Um, these teams are super fun, and Sachi is kind of what it makes it po makes it possible. So a team like this, they've got a speed booster, and then they also will run a spirit host. A lot of times you'll also see a spirit host, and then maybe a Gorgrab back here. People will do it weird. Um, just some kind of uh, attack up kind of champion, right? Or a speeder, 
They're basically using Spirit Host just for the attack up, and then they have some kind of speed lead, speed booster kind of thing, a Frost Springer, um, uh, whatchamacallit, a Hykatoon, obviously. But these are fun, because I know Hykatoon is going to be their fastest, and if they go before us, Yoshi will get the turn meter boost, jump in, uh, throw out some uh, True Fear, and then what Spirit Host is going to do, which I love, which I figured out, she's not going to use her increased attack, she's going to use her cleanse, her A2, that like puts the one turn block debuffs, which doesn't really matter to us, and the cleanse. So when I see this, what I love to do is I take out, well I already did it there, but I would have War Maiden in, but I know what's likely going to happen is they're going to do the speed up, Yoshi's going to come in, throw out at least one to three debuffs, probably not going to AoE without the increased attack, um, then we're going to get the cleanse, so then it's useless to, useless basically to have War Maiden, um, so I'll take her out, put Apothecary in, get a little extra speed, and then I'm basically guaranteeing this, and then I said Sachi is really fun for a couple reasons, because one, these moves hit hard, man. The A2 and the A3, these slap, the single target moves, I love it. She hits really hard, it's really fun, and actually in a lot of times if there's like an Aethel, an Elaine, a Kale on the other team, in a, in a situation different than this, I can single them out and then actually War Maiden can take them out before Kale even steps in, so the fear of the nuke is just eliminated before my nuker even has a chance to get nuked or to come in and nuke. Um, so I like that, but I also love with her, in a team like this the fights can be a little grindier. Also, I'm sorry I'm talking so much instead of just showing you the fight, but I'm excited. It's been a fun day. We're winning a lot of battles. I can show you our defense. Our defense is really holding up. And we're, yeah, we're in Silver 2 now. It's fun. Um, so Sachi will come in, and a lot of times she can, uh, in the grind your fight, she'll eventually start sniping people off one by one by one. For anyone who doesn't know, her passive revives a random enemy, a uh, random ally, of course, not enemy, random ally with 30% HP whenever he, uh, she kills an enemy, and then a 50% chance of placing an AoE fear buff on the enemies when the allies revived. So it's, it's kind of nice in the grind your battles. She just kind of takes over, and she starts picking people off one by one with these two hard-hitting moves and then throwing out even extra fear on top of the true fear we sometimes get from Yoshi. So I really actually like the synergy between these two, and once I've replaced, you know, the, the I think what I'm gonna do is replace this slot uh, with, yeah, a high Katoon that's going really fast, like 20, 240 speed plus, uh, and then we'll kind of have a flex. So it'll either be uh, something like high Katoon, Sachi, War Maiden, uh, Kale, or, uh, Hakatoon, War Maiden, Sachi, Kale, you know, so, something like this. I don't know if I just said the same thing twice. Basically, two speed boosters, no debuffer, or basically three, uh, or take out Yoshi and then the debuffer, but still the double speed boost. I think it could be cool. I've rambled far longer than I should have. Let's just do this fight. Let's see how it works. They also have decreased turn meter with Aox, so this fight's not a gimme, but it's fun that I can find fights that we actually stand a chance to win. So actually, was, this is a great comp. But look, okay, cool. So they didn't hit nearly hard enough. What we're gonna do here, let's get that AoE True Fear. Let's see, so three out of four, basically in line with what we'd expect. So we heal on Sachi, actually, just to be safe. Now let's speed ourselves up. You see the Relentless Proct uh, from uh, Apothecary. So this is what I'm talking about. These moves kind of slap. I'm gonna do this one um, for the turn meter boost, just to keep cycling, cycling. I want Apothecary to come back around. But look at that, we took out nearly half of Elaine's. Um, is it amazing? No, but that's without a decreased defense. This is a level 60 Elaine. You like to see it. Let's just see if we can wash him. No. But I think this is the kind of battle where even if they took someone out, we can strategically just target with Sachi and start picking them apart one by one. It's actually not the kind of battle I thought it would be. It is the grindier battle, but it's pretty pretty fun that we're, we're almost certainly going to win it. I don't see any damage coming out of this team. So look, I mean, maybe Yoshi will drop, but I mean, Sachi will almost certainly pick him right back up. Let's see it. It's an interesting team. Okay, so, Sachi. Well, now we can't use any of these. If I had led with the A2, that would have already been right back around, because that's only on a, on a two-turn cooldown. Of course, I did the A3 for the turn meter boost. If we uh, crit, or just even normal hit, not weak hit here, we might take her out. We did weak hit. Um, she won't take out Sachi yet. He nearly did. Let's speed up. Now she should be able to... I'm actually going to go for Aox, because I want to see... I want to show off Sachi in action. Let's hope she crits. Oh my god, she did, but it wasn't enough. Well, guys, it does work sometimes. So much talking, so much explaining, and then nothing came into fruition. Come on, take her out. Jeez. All right, well, now she'll drop. This Aox is a... They've got a tank of an Aox here. This guy's a beast. So, of course, Sachi can't revive now because uh, <laughs> I was going out of my way to try to showcase this revive. She can't revive now because if he dies, the game's over anyway. Um, but it is a really cool ability. Just, I guess, take my word for it. That's all I can hope. Also, um, I had a mission. I meant to say this yesterday. I had a... 
yeah, a mission that was like an artifact mission, which was max out, that should take him out. Yeah, which was max out an artifact. So we have these four star crit gloves that we put on Sachi, we max them out. So she's actually, at, I think 99% crit now. So we don't have to just target uh, magic affinity heroes. We can also do force as well. Of course, spirit, there's a chance of a weak hit and then we won't get the turn meter boost. Um, let's see. So this is a team that looks so good on paper. I will take the refill guys, why not? We're looking great on gems for Brogni. I wanna have the content. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll end with just one or two more battles. This is the kind of team that I'm saying I've learned to avoid. It looks juicy. You know, Draco, I think he's so overrated in Arena. He's barely even rated. Who am I kidding? He doesn't really work in Arena. Uh, arena. It's strange to me um, why people run him. I guess if you have a Draco, you're going to run a Draco. I mean, now I do know why people run him. I answered my own question aloud. But uh, this team just won't work because they're going to speed up and... Uh, yeah, unless somehow the high Katoon's faster than Seeker, who cares if they are? Um, we'd have to hope that our true fear, it won't be an AoE in increase attack, so we'll only have a 60% chance. We had to hope it one lands on Seeker, and then it triggers and he doesn't go off. But once he goes off, he does the increase attack, and then he CCs Kale with the Provoke. We're kind of toast, especially if this Bellor hits hard. So that's, a, that's those are the kind of battles I've really learned to avoid. So without the Valkyrie, this would be exactly the kind of battle I'm looking for. What else do we got? Anything good here? This is a winnable battle. We can try a Trunda battle. Why not? It's not a gimme at all. They've got good team power, but this is the kind of thing where, of course, I am going to put War Maiden back in. Um, I really only am putting in Apothecary when there's a Cleanser, or particularly Spirit Host I've been seeing a lot. kind of disrupts their plans. So here, what am I hoping? Uh, their Hacker Team is going to be the fastest. They're going to speed up. So yeah, now we jump in with Yoshi. We just got to hope we throw out at least two CCs, two True Fears. Only one, but it landed on Trunda, but she got off anyway. That's unfortunate. So, I mean, I will show you. Dare I show you? Will I? Let's just, let me show you the attack attack log. You'll see. We're winning, but we're also losing here and there. A lot of times, I bet you I can find one. I have to fight a team twice, which is honestly kind of fun. I mean, it sucks if you lose twice. It hasn't really happened much yet. But there's CC, there's a, not CC, RNG involved with the crowd control. So a lot of times it's worth just running it back. I mean, I'm about to probably get egg all over my face live on video. Let's just run it back though. Let's see if it, it can't work a bit better with a little more uh, luck from the true fear. So same thing's gonna happen. Obviously, we're just running the fight back. We landed two that time on both their nukers. They both went off. There you go. Now we're in business. What we're gonna do, I'm certain we can take out this Aethel. Um, So we're gonna, yeah, do our A3 to get the increased attack and the turn meter boost. Um, and we're gonna throw this on Trunda. Hit her pretty hard, 15K. She's, she's a beefy girl, so it's a good thing we target her out. Yeah, so now when Kale comes in, we should be able to just wash him as long as he does get to go in. Yeah, there's Kale. And yeah, that's the pretty cool way that this team does work that I think is fun, you know? I've been burned so, mon so many times by like a Masha led team, a Mashal team, however the heck you say his name. If anyone knows, write out the pronunciation in the comments. I've uh, been burned so many times by that team, um, and then I'll go back and try again, and then I get burned again by the CC, by the True Fear. Um, so it's nice to, you know, deal it out ourselves. Let's see if we can't find one more battle we might stand a chance at. This one looks doable. So this one could be really nice, especially if their Frostbringer's faster, because Frostbringer, pretty okay, especially early days arena. She's got the increased speed and the attack. Um, it's kind of similar to uh, Claude's move, actually, but I think her cooldown, yeah, it's on, it's on a five turn cooldown, booked four turn cooldown. You want to see it on a three turn cooldown for sure. For sure. This is a three turn cooldown. She'd be, you'd hear her name a lot more. But I guess she works for this arena comp. What we got to hope is that the speed is enough here that I'm assuming High Katoon's the fastest. She's going to come in, speed him up, and then even with the 16% uh, percent turn meter uh, gain for Yoshi from his passive, from her getting those four buffs off on the rest of her team, Frostbringer still goes off and we get that attack up to increase our chance by 25% by, by a quarter of landing. So there we go, we got it. Cool, so now we have the 85% chance to land it all over, at least land it on Kale, cool. Wow, huge hit, oh my God, and it didn't work. Dare I run it back? Yes, I, I bought the refill. We're gonna finish with this, win or lose, this is how we're gonna end it. Let me make sure there's nothing else I'm missing. So this is another really winnable fight, minus the Seeker. So yeah, Seekers I'm avoiding a lot. I'm actually looking for Madame Ceres's, because a lot of times on this levels, people uh, people won't have Madame Ceres built, built right, so she's mostly just built for accuracy, and she's actually really easy to snipe out with Sachi, I found. Seeker, gotta avoid him like the plague. All right, let's actually land a couple this time, please. Wow, we actually gotta resist there, so we're toast. Whew. Are we gonna finish like that? That was so upsetting. Oh my goodness. I think we have to. Zavia, Zavia really kills us because she at least neutral hits on our whole team. Um, this could be, should we just, should we just, all right, whatever, whatever. Uh, we should be faster than this team. So what I'm hoping is that Sachi's faster than Masha Led and then we stand a chance. If not, I think we're toast. 
Uh, but maybe we'll see see Marsh Lloyd. Let's see. The cool thing, yeah, cool, and she was faster. The cool thing also with Yoshi's uh, A3 is it does it's a non-contact move, unlike like uh, Harvest Jacks, uh, Harvest of Despair, I think it's called, where he puts out the AOE True Fear. So for him, it, affinity doesn't matter since it's a non-contact move. You can't weak hit. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so who's the scariest? Who's the scariest? I mean, they're all looking scary. I'm not worried about Kale at this point. I think we'll be able to keep going. I'm worried about Monster, and I'm worried about Duck. I guess I'm going to go for Monster, because if he puts out that Ally Protect, we're kind of toast. Okay, cool. So let's just land these decreased defenses, particularly on Duck the Pierce. Uh, so the Masha Led snuck in. So if we don't get CC'd, what did I say? I, I, yeah, okay, we didn't. So, okay, we'll end on that. So, I mean, it's, it's RNG, man. It's 50-50. And we won that 50-50 battle. But you'll see, our attack, it's just staying right in line. You know, it's like, I think we're probably winning at like a 65% clip. However, the defense is looking, it's looking okay. Look at this, what is this? Looks like we're just over 50% here. Um, and that's been enough to get us to like almost mid, getting towards mid silver two. I think this team, once I put a bit more work into it, is gonna be comfortable silver three. I don't know what silver three is gonna look like, so I'm not gonna say we're gonna get much higher than that. However, and I don't wanna jinx it, knock on wood i've said it before i'm hoping i'm hoping our days of uh bronze are over we need these silver medals and it's really nice to get them at two a clip in silver two uh guys like i said just a chill video today not so much to show you um yeah, that was me taking my notes putting them out of the way i will also say the giveaway is still going on i almost forgot to mention that the giveaway is going on uh, a fair number of you guys participated by commenting in yesterday's video with the answer to my daily question for the giveaway and the hashtag giveaway, which is how you participate. Also, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed. That's how you'll be enrolled. Uh, but for anyone who missed it, we're giving away two two accounts. So they're both pretty cool. One's like quite early days, early game account, and one's like a mid game account. But both of them come with two kind of awesome legendaries. So one of them's like an arena specialist account in the making. It's got a Trunda Gil Mallet and a Rosh Guard the ta the Tower. So amazing for Arena right there. You know, you got your uh, AOE block damage. You got Trunder, the best nuker in the games, particularly in the Arena. And then the other account, we have maybe the best champion in the game, Valkyrie. And then one of the hardest hitters in the game, Incubus. So two really cool accounts. Basically, you can uh, apply or enroll in the giveaway with each daily video for this whole week. And then in a week's time from yesterday's video, after seven videos, me and Johanna will do a drawing. And then the winner, the first winner, will get their choice of the account. And the second winner will get whatever account was not selected. So without, without uh, talking about it any further, the question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite game right now that you're playing that is not Raid Shadow Legends? Uh, and then in, in the case you're only playing Raid Shadow Legends, what, well, uh, why do you love it so much? Why don't you have time for other games? Let me know in the comments. Use the hashtag giveaway. Make sure you're subscribed and you'll be enrolled. And of course, you can enroll multiple times. So you can enroll up to seven times. So yeah, I think it's a fun giveaway. Participate if you're keen. All of this being said, all of my rambling in today's video, um, I guess I just gotta finish it. I am fastidious. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You know, if you enjoy my content, if you like this video, if you like me, please like and subscribe. You know, it's free to play, it's free to click. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Fastidious.